Hello, in this short video I will show you how to cut down the screw to the desired length without damaging the thread. If you already know how to do it, just skip this video. But from latest comments I noticed that it's not so obvious to everybody that if you need a proper length screw for your project and you don't have it, you can always use a longer one and cut it down to desired size. And that's exactly what I will do with this panoramic head from my uh, latest video. I have to cut down this M8 screw with the hexagonal head and this will be easier to do compared to this M5 with the cylindrical head. And I will use only very common simple hand tools for this. First step is to mark where you want to cut it. Measure and mark. Always add few millimeters one or two millimeters because you can easily remove material but you cannot add it at the end. Okay, for this operation we will need a vase, a hacksaw and a file. Of course we need a hacksaw with the, for the metal. For example, metal has a smaller teeth, for this, this is the blade with the two sides. The bigger teeth are for softer metal like wood and the smaller teeth are for the harder material. And of course, don't forget if you will mount the, the blade to the frame, the teeth has to go in up direction because you will cut when you are pushing the hexaw from you. So I will start with this M8 with the hexagonal head and all I need is another nut. It has two functions. The one is that it has to stabilize the position in the vase and the second is at the end uh, we, we always damage the thread a little bit uh, and uh, when we remove the nut it will fix the end of the thread. The head of the screw will uh, fix the screw in a vase and prevent the rotation under its axis. And the nut will give additional stabilization. So it is very stable in this vase, now I can cut it. Very important rule, never squeeze the thread in a vase because it will damage it, it will deform and damage it and it cannot be uh, useful anymore. I don't squeeze it even on this part which I don't need because for me that's not the vase. I will use that usually as a set screw for example. Okay, I have a mark here where I want to cut and I will start cutting. I can use a thread as a guide and uh, always try to use the full length of the saw blade. Usually in the movies I can see, uh, I can recognize if somebody is amateur cutting those small moments. Real experience workers always use the full length of the hexa. I have a new set screw. Just work out the surface and cut place for this screwdriver and that's it. Now the end of the thread is damaged a little bit, that's how we need a file for this. The best tool for fixing this uh, end of the thread or, or the screw is for example a double grinder. Or if you have electrical drill, then you can use it uh, to fix the end of the thread and the screw. But I said only hand tools, so let's use a file. Again, I will use a head and a nut to fix it in a vise. hold the end of the file and always try to use the full length. 
If you follow the thread on the cutting, probably it will be a little bit under the angle. So try to work that material per perpendicular with the perpendicular movements. And then try to work out the edges of the thread. So for this, a grinder or a electrical drill tool, drill tool with the grinding stone will be the perfect for this. But with the file we can work it out also. I will hold on to the head and... That's it. <coughs> now let's do this M5 with this cylindrical head. For this we will need two nuts. I place the first nut completely at the end and tighten it a little bit. This will, be, this will give me the stability against the rotating. And this second nut will help repair the thread and give me stability in the ways. But now, I'm not sure can it be seen, the head is bigger than the nut. To hold it in a vase, I will need some kind of plate. So I will use, I know, I couldn't find as So I will place these two plates in a vase like this. And then the vase will not squeeze the head, but the nuts. You can use any wooden plates or anything you can find in your household. Now my head is below the drops of the vase. That's why I can squeeze it here. And again, file tool. First make it perpendicular and then work the edges. Let's put it together. And that would be it. This is important task because if you are using 3D printer, uh, very power of the 3D printed objects is when you combine them with other standard or common objects like screws, for example. And uh, I have a set of screws, but I cannot have every length. With this method you can easily take a little bit longer screw and cut it down to desired length. Okay, I hope this was useful to you. Thank you for watching and uh, follow me to next video too. Bye.